Oh look, I have business here. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. So we're going to do chapter 3 of Hannah's story. I can't even remember what fucking episode number this is. Like 29? Alright. Let's go. The story so far. Following her master's trail, Hannet made the long journey to Stoneguard. There she talked to Natalia, who had been friends with Xanta. Following Natalia's clues, Hannet found her master in the forest. Except he had been petrified by the beast called Red Eye. Hannet, forgive us this old man for not keeping his promise. The last words he wrote before the curse stilled his hand. In the same note, he told Hannah to find a woman called Susanna. She's a seer who wrote, and perhaps she can help. And thus Hannah arrived in the frozen village of Snill Snow. I miss being able to oh. talk. Oh, goddamn dog, shut up. Hmm? Oh, yes. Now then. I see. <laughs> All right, moving to that house.
Listen up! Oi! A pox on him! What the? Oi! Honestly? No. Yeah. Oh ho! Doubtless. Truth is, I. Could that mean? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Curses. All right, broke. Letting us begin. Letting my arrow fly in true. I need better fucking summons. Summons. I will not be thy prey. Okay. Letting my arrow fly in true. Letting the hunt begin. Letting the hunt begin. Letting my arrow fly in truth. Letting the hunt begin. Come at me, holding back nothing. Oh my god, is it still going? To me. What next? <laughs> Come in, if thou dance. <laughs> Letting the hunt begin. <laughs> Let me come in. There we go. God, that. Takes too long. Huh. <laughs> He's a man grown, but still a boy within.
Be a dear, Hannet, and have Linda carry the poor fool within. He'll be catching his death of cold lying out in the snow like a log. <laughs> How dost thou knowest my name? That's what you want to ask, isn't it? I'm a seer, remember? Possessed of the all-seeing eye. Also oh, sorry. Then thou art an oracle. Truly, thou will be able to help. <laughs> Poppycock and nonsense is all it is. Poppycock? A hunter from the woodlands who communes with the beasts. Not a common sight in these parts. The only one who might fit that description is that hobbledy hoy, Xanta. Him or his prentice, Hanet of the Darkwood. Your age, your snow leopard, your garb, simple deduction, my dear. The trick is to say what you know, and nothing more, and let the gullible fill in the details. That's all Susanna's famous all-seeing eye is, in the end. Well? Disappointed to learn I'm just a fraud? On the contrary, now I know I can trust thee. If thou speakest the truth about this, then surely thou wouldst not speak false of aught else. There before. Now, why don't you tell me why you're here? <coughs> but first, let's go inside, shall we? It seemeth that would be for the best. Oh, well, well. That young master of yours has managed to get himself into a right mess, hasn't he? Mistress Susanna, canst thou help in him? There is one way. In truth. Truth? Ah, now that's a word. You said you trusted me, remember? If there is the slightest chance of lifting that curse, I will trust whomever I need to. <gasps> Milady? Gods take my eyes if that fool hasn't raised a strong and brave young woman. I'd scarce believe it if you weren't standing here in front of me. I learned from his example. The good and the bad. <laughs> Is that so? Can't imagine that would work. But the world is full of wonders at that. Isn't that... Sorry. <laughs> it is. But about the curse... I am prepared for any trial. There is but one way to turn stone back to living flesh. And that is to slay the beast that wrought the curse. I had feared as much, but it shall be done. Stay, child. I'm not finished yet. Did Zanta forget to teach you patience? Mine apologies. If you try to fight the beast as you are, you'll only meet the same fate as your master. And what good will you be to him then?
but I must. What you must do first is find the means to protect yourself from Red Eye's lethal power. Tell me, dear, have you heard of the plant called Herb of Grace? Never. Long ago, there was a beast in these parts, too, what turned men to stone. Folks here soon learned that Herb of Grace could ward off the magic. I reckon it should be effective against Red Eye as well. Herb of Grace grows in a forest so thick there are few ways in. I'll send a layak ahead to show you the entrance to the trail. But know that the forest is a perilous place and home to many frightful beasts. You want to prepare well before you venture in. I shall. Thank thee, my lady. <laughs> it is my pleasure, dear. In a strange way, that Zanta boy was like a son to me. A vexing wayward one, but sorry. with you being his apprentice, it rather makes you my grandchild now. And what kind of a grandmother would I be if I refused to lend you a helping hand? Master and I are both in thy debt. Sorry about all the fucking skipping there, I don't know what- I was just hitting buttons. When I heard a pause in the audio. Too busy browsing red and all that. I've done my research on you. You may have done your research on me, but you didn't do a good enough good job. There's three question marks there. The hunt, begin it. It's like gentlemen. No, we can't. We can never do that. Now then.
Hmm. I can handle dangerous fiends. Dangerous fiends. <laughs> huh. Thanks be to thee. <laughs> Thou hast my thanks. Travel banter, go away. Whoa. Oh, that's new. They're all new. I'm still not going to kill you. Now, Did I forget to heal? Next. No, whatever. I shouldn't need to do that more than once. No, it's not. It's over here. I keep forgetting. Follow the lanterns. They always lead the way. beginning. The herb of grace. This is all I need. Dragon! This place well, is a dragon's yeah. lair? I have heard the legends, and Master's tales too, but to see one in the flesh... I scarce imagined this day would cometh, but cometh it has. Ah, uh, yes. Did I ever tell thee about the time I went dragon hunting in the Cliftlands? Four times now. And the tale getteth longer with each telling. Is that so? Hmm. Uh, I suppose each time I remember more of the thrilling details, eh? Master. This world is not big enough for all the giant beasts thou hast huntedest. Thou believest me not! And yet I really, really did. What in the... Stop in this! Why? Do I smell so foul? Is not thy smell. Oh, art thou blushing? Do I embarrass the. Oh. <sighs> Don't 
don't been a fool. <clears throat> if thou insistest, but listen in, my girl. Hunters fighteth many kinds of beasts, some so wondrous and astounding thou canst scarce imagine them. When thou art older, thou too will have tales that no one will believeth, but thou must still keep them. Some will haunt thy dreams, some will make thee snorten with laughter whenever thou recallst them. <laughs> But let me tell thee this, Hornet. What is it, Master? Even when thy tale is so improbable and fantastic that not one man thinketh it the truth, thou canst tell in it to me, and I will believe every word. Thou shalt hear in this tale, Master, over and again, until thou beggest me to stop, just as thou didst to me. Finally. Then so am I. Axes, 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 axes. Dynamic. Okay, Mr. O'Brien. Ten of us over here. Come in, if thou darest. Yeah, well, it's poison, please. Yeah. Now, what next? Oh, shit, where'd he go? Robin's gone? Ah, uh, crap. That was my healer. Uh, Come in, if thou darest. What to do? For you! And you know the true lesson begins! Lux Conqueror! Come in, if thou darest. Windhield, fight for this. I honor thee, my quarry. Is it so? Come in, Linda. Not yet. Found the herb, did you? Thou waited for me? 
Susanna only asked thee to show in us the way in. I have my own mind. A man can tarry where he likes, can't he? Of course he can. Anyway, I'm done tearing. Suppose I'll go on ahead. <laughs> I most appreciate your concern. <laughs> uh, well, I just... Uh... <laughs> what a strange man. Do what I can. Thou hast my thanks. And then? <laughs> Indeed. Well, well. Understood. Uh. 
All right, I think I'm nearly done. I just have to run out of town. All right, here we go. You are Hornet? I am. And thou, one of the Knights Ardant. At your service. I bear word from Lady Eliza. It is about the Fiend, Red Eye. She hath found it? Yes, near the desert city of Marceline. She awaits you there. Then that is where I will go. Thank thee. If you will excuse me, my lady. Taking your leave so soon? Yes, it is time. I apologize for any burden I may have caused thee. My pleasure, dear. There's always room under this roof for my favorite granddaughter. The burden of family is no burden at all. Thank thee. Looking after her, Alaic. You don't have to tell me. That is my duty, and it will be done. Indeed. Honey dear, for all your cleverness, you are as naive as a babe in the woods. You are a pretty girl, if not the beauty I was in my younger days. Hmm? hold you up with my prattle no longer. Go in safety, my dear. Hmm? Thank thee. When the hunt is done, I shall return, and master with me. And so Hana does leave Snow Snow behind her. Her quest has now become a hunt to save our master. She must slay the beast they call Red Eye. With this knowledge, she strides toward her next, de next destination, the city of Marsalim, surrounded by the sands of the Sunlands. And with that, I'm going to leave this episode here, and I hope to see you in the next. Thanks for watching. If you want, there's a playlist to the left, a random video to the right, and if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at CGPoorly.